DJ Green here. Um, let's start, let's raise hands and we can get a mic to you. Who wants to, who wants to go first? Buddy? Tyler? Let's start with you. Hey, BJ, Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. You got two sacks the other day. It seems like the defensive line uh, as a whole, and Tajay McCoy's got a couple of the last couple of weeks, it seems like the defensive line as a whole is, is starting to get fresh in the backfield. How much do you guys feel like the, the work you put in the last couple of weeks is really starting to pay off and you're starting to show that? Um, I think we just we trust our training, we trust our teachings. You know, obviously, we having a Hall of Fame influence in our room, having NFL experience in our room, and just having all those like we got a three headed monster at coach. So we got Sab, we got Dilu, we got Coach uh, Dancy. So just trusting that training, and like I said before, you know they come in splashes, and you know the dam broke, so now it's really open season. So just a race to the quarterback at this point. Adam, go ahead. BJ, what's kind of your early impressions of Arizona and, and kind of the challenge that awaits you guys down in the desert? Uh, I'm real familiar with them. You know, they kind of remind me of us on offense. You know, they're going to they're gonna drop back and they're going to throw that ball. You know, for us, really good football player, they're a really good football team. So we just got to be us, like the same thing. We've got the same, the same approach. So it's got to be us and attack the week. Pat, hey, BJ, I'm Pat Graham, so share press. Um, when you go up against Shadur in that offense every day in practice, how does that prepare you for, like, Arizona and other teams? Just how much does it prepare you for what you have to do? Uh, it, it prepares us for a similar drop back, you know, being able to see the quarterback depth, you know, what they like to do, those tendencies, you know, being able to see a quarterback's tendencies like that and be able to match like certain tendencies with an opposing team and what they like to do, you know, their his scramble tendencies, you know, it really prepares us for certain th things like that. Uh, Jake? Hey, BJ, just what have you seen from Tajay McCoy and him kind of breaking out as a young player? Uh, he reminds me of myself my freshman year, you know, having those third down opportunities, like seeing him flash like that gives me reminiscent of like how I got started in this power five football. So seeing him do that, I, I can't be happier, you know, like just being able to give him those bits and pieces. So that way when I'm gone, you know, he has those things that he can push for and he can be that guy that steps in the shoes and people can look up to. Because at the end of the day, you want to be the person that gives them and they can pass that on. Matt, go ahead. When you went back and watched on film, where did you feel like the great games came in the run game, especially like the first three and a half quarters? Um, I feel like everything that we showed with, we just got to be ourselves earlier on. You know, like that's really all it is. It wasn't anything special that they did. You know, I think we just beat ourselves, like Coach Prime said before, like we really let that one go. And that's something that we had to do self reflection on. Like, Going like from the bye week to this week, you know, all I did in the bye week was watch the first five games and self reflect on how I can correct certain things as far as the run and the pass. So when I got prepared for that, and then that's what showed up on Saturday, and that's why I feel like I had a good game. But that was my standard, and I feel like that's what we need to do. We need to self reflect, go into that, correct those things, and have an even better game and play to our standard of football, play Colorado brand of defense like we know how to do. Brian, these are you in your first half. Like, how would you assess how you play? I didn't play like myself the first five games, which is why, like I said before, I had to go on the bye week and look at what I, what I needed to do and get back to who B.J. Green is. And the Kansas State game is just a standard of what I do. Like, that's it's not special to me. That's what I am expected to do, and that's what I'll be doing going forward and causing havoc like I set out to do. Hey, B.J., you guys have a lot of teams that are kind of run first teams um, this week. Maybe you get a team that wants to sling it around a little bit more. How exciting is that opportunity as a pass rusher? Oh, it's amazing, you know, being to sit back there, you know. But like I said before, it doesn't change anything. Like, Kansas State is a run-heavy team, but we produce it as far as the pass. Like, it's something that Coach D. Lou says every day, we got to earn the right to pass rest. It's the same thing this week. we got to earn the right to pass rest. And when it comes time for us to show up in this pass and third along or second along, we'll be there. It's my standard of football. That's that's what I said before. I have to get back to who BJ Green is, and that's who I am. That's that's what I do, and that's what I'll be doing going forward. All right. Anything else for Mr. BJ Green? All right. Good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.